Hey, what's up? It's Kelly back with another video. And today, we're going to be making my baked mac and cheese. I attempted to make baked mac and cheese two years ago and it ended up coming out terribly. So I'm going to try again using a different recipe that I got from x.com. So right now we're just getting the noodles cooking and I just put a pinch of salt in with them. I've never done it before, but we're gonna see it, if it makes it taste different. So let's get into it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay, the water is boiling. <laughs> mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, so he has his cheese in a separate bowl. So I'm just going to mix everything in mine. And all my cheese is already shredded, so we're on different timelines. So now that we have our little egg mixture, we're going to put some butter and sour cream into the noodles and mix that around with the milk and egg mixture. So I'm just going to transfer it to the big pan now so that I can stir it easier. So now we're going to add our sour cream. I just put one dollop. So now we're going to add our egg and milk mixture. So we're just pouring that on top of the mac and cheese. And now we're going to stir it around for a bit and then add cheese. So basically what I did, I took a half of the mac and cheese out of the pat out of the pan and I'm going to layer with cheese and then put some more of the egg mixture on top and then put some more macaroni and then more cheese and more cheeses. We have triple cheddar, mozzarella, medium and sharp cheddar. So it's whatever. a little bit of this bag because I still need some for the top. Yeah. Now we're going to add some milk on top before I put the second layer. I'm going to put a little milk. Oh. 
on both of them. Okay. And then I'm gonna add the second layer. So now that the noodles are packed into their pan, I'm going to add the final cheeses and put it into the oven. Let's pop this bad boy into the oven. So now we're just gonna let that cook for 20 minutes and then we're gonna let it sit for 20 more minutes and we'll be back. Okay, she's ready. It's time to take the mac and cheese out of the oven. Now we're just gonna let this sit for 20 minutes. What would you say, zero out of ten? It was a ten out of ten, baby. Really? It's cheesy, but it's not too cheesy. Yay. Mm -hmm. Yay, I'm glad my baby likes it. Mm -hmm. Ten out of ten. I definitely snapped. Um, I'm so glad that I was finally able to make this mac and cheese. I've been wanting to learn how to make this mac and cheese literally since I was a child. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces. Well, if mac and cheese wasn't on the menu for y'all this weekend, y'all doing something wrong. This is mine. Let me show y'all how to get down. So I got about five different cheeses all shredded up. Then in a separate bowl, I got an egg and some evaporated milk with some seasoning, salt and pepper to OG. A little bit of ground mustard, a little bit of cayenne. And I got that all whisked up. Added my elbow macaroni to some boiling water. No, you don't need oil for this. Just give it a little mix. Let it boil till al dente and then get it in a strainer. Then into a bowl with some butter, some sour cream. Mix that around. Add that egg and milk mixture to it, stir it around. Then you want to go ahead and add your cheeses to it. Mix that up. Add some Velveeta, of course. More whole milk, more cheese. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I could smell when mine is perfect. So I got a baking dish, got some macaroni down, put some cheese in the middle. Then I put more of the macaroni. Went ahead and topped it off with some mozzarella and some more cheddar cheese. Then I hit it with some fresh parsley. You can use dried and a little bit of smoked paprika. Got that into the oven cover for 20 and then uncover for another 20. Cheese was pulling. The flavor's crazy. Try this one out and you already know it's a wrap. Let's go.